hey what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be doing here a deck profile for wind witches this is something i think it might be a debut on this channel i don't think i've done a deck profile on this before so it's definitely going to be very exciting because this is a deck that i've had for quite a while now but with the upgrades i really just wanted it to actually make an update to this particular deck profile or at least i wanted to showcase my deck for you guys to see um, and yeah, I know it's been quite a while already, but even so, I feel like Wind Witches are so flexible to the point where you could really just go around any kind of build. I mean, it works as a supplementary archetype, but at the same time, it could easily work on its own as well as a pure build as such in this particular deck I have for you here. But you know what, let's just uh, not waste any more time and get right into it. So starting off here, we're definitely playing three copies of Ice Bell. Absolutely fantastic card. Summons itself really easily, starts yourself off. It's pretty much the one card combo to go into your Crystal Wing Dragon, which is definitely fantastic here. I don't think it should come to any surprise that we're going to be playing three copies of Glass Bell as well. Definitely a fantastic card for the deck. Just to maximize consistency, we're going to be playing three copies of it. But since it's also going to be the searcher for all of your Wind Witches, why not play three of it? We're playing two copies here of our Snowbell. I think this is definitely going to suffice for the deck itself anyway. We don't really need any more of that, but with that being said, it is going to be part of the original trio that essentially goes for your Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Now, of course, we are going to be playing three copies here of our Freeze Bell, which came in Blazing Vortex. Definitely a card that was quite hard to obtain, but now that I actually have it, I'm definitely quite glad to be able to actually play it right here and showcase it's definitely a fantastic card does so much for the actual deck itself uh, mainly of course it is an extender but with that being said wind witches have been needing this for a while we also have over here two copies of blizzard bell not the most amazing of cards but definitely can still do a number on the opponents and there's a particular combo i might show at the end of this video if you guys are willing to stick around and see that definitely involves this card of course, we're going to play here some great supplementary options, and that would be the Speed Ride Engine. Definitely really fantastic. I am also playing here the one copy of the Red Eyed Dice because Take Tomball can easily just summon out any of them, uh, or rather, can easily just go into the Red Eyed Die. So, definitely fantastic that we have this over here as an option. I'm also playing two copies here of Hop Ear Squadron. Definitely a surprising card for you guys, but definitely a fantastic card that allows you to actually catch your opponents off guard by synchro summoning during your opponent's turn. Of course, we're also playing here one Cockle Doo to Doo. Definitely a fantastic card, really underrated, but given that it's a win card, it's also a level 5 tuner and definitely adds to the uh, synergy for this particular deck. Now, annoyingly, I've been dealing with so many Despia players at my locals lately, so I've taken up the option to play here two copies of Lava Golem. It's definitely a fantastic card, gets rid of two of their monsters as opposed to one that a Kaiju would normally do. But the amazing thing is, since you're going into your Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, you could easily attack over the Lava Golem with no issue whatsoever. Now moving on to spells, we're going to be playing three copies of Wind Witch Chimes. Definitely a fantastic addition to this particular deck. Uh, absolutely love it, definitely playing three copies of it. And of course, for some generic options, we're playing the One Mind Control, playing the Burning Soul, we're playing the Monster Reborn, and the Called by the Grave. Now, I will explain slightly on the Burning Soul. So Burning Soul, its effect reads, if you control a level 8 or higher Synchro Monster, add one card from your graveyard to your hand, accept this card, then immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon using monsters you control as material. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent cannot target Synchro Monsters on the field with card effects. Uh, you can only activate this once per turn. So definitely a fantastic card to allow you to just uh, add a bit of protection, but to also just go for an easy summon, which is definitely fantastic. But to also just grab a card from your graveyard, which is honestly, it, it could actually really get you out of clutch situations. But uh, let's face it, this particular deck is a synchro deck. It's going to be very vulnerable to a lot of different things here. When you're playing combo decks that are really extensive, you're going to have so many disruptions, so many negates available. And given that so many people are able to bring out these big monsters with some potential disrupting options, we got to somehow deal with that. And so I decided to actually main deck three copies of Dark Ruler No More. 
a fantastic card and although you can't deal any damage to your opponents for the rest of this turn after you activate this particular card, it's worth it as long as you could actually lock them out for the time being so that you could actually execute your plays to at least the very bare minimum get over their monsters. Now, as for trap cards, we definitely got to play a few here because this deck definitely warrants it. So we're going to be playing over here, Icy Breeze Refrain, actually going to be part of a particular combo I actually have showing up, but three copies is something that I definitely encourage you guys actually play. To be honest, there's not much cards that will stop a trap card aside from a generic Omni Negate, but even so, this here is just an amazing card to play three of, it's definitely well worth it, even though it's a hard one per turn as well. Next up, for a bit of extra additional support for Synchros, we're going to be playing here Reject Reborn, a uh, definitely underestimated card for sure. So yeah, it allows you to essentially just end a battle phase with one direct attack of course, and then you can special summon a Tuna and a Synchro Monster from your grave, with their effects negated of course, but either way, who cares, on your next turn you're going for a Synchro Summon. Now of course we definitely need some sort of protection, so we're going to be playing two copies of Following and the one copy of Dragon's Bind, definitely fantastic, definitely will protect your monsters from actually being dealt with, but this pretty much sums up the main deck, so let's move on to the extra deck. Alright, so onto the extra deck, we're going to be playing here three copies of our Diamond Bell. This might seem overkill, you could always just readjust the ratios and then add in your own particular choice or preferences of cards. But this is the one I always just end up going to anyway, so ultimately, I don't really care about the other cards. Next up, we're playing two copies here of Winter Bell. Drop this down to two copies. I used to play three of them, and most people would, but honestly, with the support from Blazing Vortex, you really don't need any more than that. Of course, for some more generic options, we're gonna be playing here the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Honestly, I wish I had two copies of it. I'll definitely take out one of my Diamond Bells and then put in a second copy of the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon if I actually had a second copy. But for now, having one is definitely just a great option already. We're also gonna be playing here Clear Wing Fast Dragon. We're playing here our Speed Roy Charge Warrior or Stardust Charge Warrior, sorry. That's definitely a fantastic card as well to go into. This deck can definitely uh, just work so many wonders for synchro cards and allowing my synchro cards to even give an option to play it anyway. Uh, so we have over here our Clear Wing as well. I have uh, Chanbara, uh, the Virtual World Jujui. We have here Kendama, and we even have Shen Shen. Definitely all fantastic cards for this particular deck. Just offering a great variety of options for you to actually go to with your synchro players. Next up, I'm playing here two copies of, well, just one copy really, but two fusions. One Almaduke, one King of the, or Mud Dragon of the Swamp. These cards are great options because I do play three copies of Super Poly in my side deck and sometimes you might need it because honestly these days it's really difficult to get over specific monsters your opponent actually has. So to have these cards available is definitely fantastic. Would like to note that in my side deck, I do also have here two crystal bells just in case because it can actually go for some additional beat stick options to finally finish your opponents off with the super polys. But with that being said, I hope you guys find this deck profile to be very enlightening. I will potentially be showing you guys a combo for this now just to showcase what this deck could potentially do and that way hopefully with the rest of things you guys could actually work out uh, what this deck's potential can be. Alright, so here's the combo for this particular, I guess, deck. So this is one of the main combos that only exclusively uses the Win Witch cards. So with that being said, it is a three card combo, though you could alter it to be just a two card combo, it could definitely work. However, with that being said, I wanted to utilize the two new cards here, just to give this deck a bit more variety on what it could potentially do. So we're going to go with the usual Ice Bell play by bringing it out. You're going to inflict 500 damage onto your opponents and you're going to special summon out to your glass bell ultimately allowing you to then search out uh, your snow bell as well so that's definitely fantastic of course you're also going to normal summon out your blizzard bell so that would be great as long as all your monsters are wind witches you can bring it out you're also going to special summon out to your snow bell as well and you now have four monsters on the board so that's fantastic, but you're going to take your Ice Bell and Glass Bell, Synchro Summon these two, 
and this will essentially allow you to go for your winter bell. You could then use winter bell's effect to target your glass bell in the graveyard, and this of course allows you to deal damage equal to 200 times the level of this monster, so that's going to be 800, meaning you're dealing a total of 1300 so far. Next up, you're going to take your Winter Bell and Snow Bell, you're going to Synchro Summon these two, allowing you to go for your Diamond Bell. Whenever you go for your Diamond Bell and it's Synchro Summon, you can target one Wind Witch monster in your graveyard and inflict damage equal to half its attack. So we're going to target our Winter Bell and deal half its attack, so that's 1200 plus the 1300 we previously already dealt, so that's going to be 2500 points of damage onto your opponent. Finally, we're going to be setting down our Ice Breeze Refrain, and that's essentially what we have over here. Definitely a really powerful move, because on our opponent's turn, we could easily activate Blizzard Bell as a quick effect to send it to the graveyard to inflict 500 more damage to your opponents, so that deals potentially 3000 damage all before your opponent has actually done anything. However, with that being said though, whenever your opponent has actually uh, been dealt damage in any sort of way, either by battle or card effect, this effect activates, allowing you to target one card on your opponent's field, and then you can destroy it. So that's definitely very powerful. So it pretty much is going to be a disruption, which is uh, definitely really good here. Now, if you control a card, or if you control this particular card that was only Synchro Summoned using Wind Witch Monsters, it could actually use this effect twice. So, what this means is during your opponent's turn, if they try to do something on the board, you could activate Blizzard Bell as a quick effect, sending it to the graveyard, inflicting 500 damage to your opponent. So, they take another 500, they're 3000 uh, points of damage already. So Diamond Bell triggers off, destroying one of their monsters. However, since you have this set onto the field, you can then revive back uh, one of your cards. So we're going to revive back our Ice Bell. Now, since Ice Bell was re-summoned once more, you can then deal another 500 points of damage onto your opponent. So now they've taken uh, 3500 points of damage. However, because they took damage again, since this effect can be used twice, you could pop one more card on your opponent's board. So you just dealt 3500 points of damage and you destroyed two cards on your opponent's board. And given how you actually play this out or how you respond, you could potentially just be disrupting your opponents a lot on the actual play there. This gives you quite a huge advantage in your actual play itself. Definitely really fantastic, and it's all a matter of how you actually execute this. And this is strictly with just the Win Witch cards alone, so it's definitely a really good combo, and it really showcases the potential of what this deck could potentially do. Now, of course, this is to target one Win Witch monster in your graveyard and special summoner in defense. Or, when your opponent activates a card or effect in response to your Wind Witch Monster's activation, you can also negate the effect. So what's amazing is, if the opponent tried to negate this the first time, you could easily just go for this and negate that card. So it really just gives you such great flexibility with this particular deck itself. Now of course I should mention that cards like Wind Witch Chimes and Freeze Bell could be used in alternation with all this here as well, so it's not like it's exclusively just strictly with these cards cards over here, you could slightly alter it as well, but definitely try playing around with this particular deck and see how it actually works out. But with that being said, I hope this actually works out for you guys, and I hope you guys actually win a few games with it. But with that being said, thanks for joining me today, definitely drop a like, share, subscribe, I'll see you next time.